plus ten at fucking Saturday night? <laughs> when you've all lost a little money and you're a little liquored up and pissed. You know, and if you can't explain why you're out there, if I can't explain to my my kids while I'm out here, my youngest boy in particular, if I can't explain to him why I'm on the road, then I shouldn't be there. So why does your dad go on tour? For money. <laughs> Look, I gotta be honest with you, I feel a little vulnerable because I wore a vest tonight. I don't want really to wear a vest. I thought, I want to look like I'm a dealer. <laughs> but I'm a I feel a little uncomfortable. Do I look like Ellen a little bit? <laughs> anyway, what I'm saying was this girl was out of my league. But something happened between the first year of junior high school and the second year of junior high school. It's very important in my life. I came to America for the first time. I came with my, with my dad, and we came to visit my Uncle James and my Aunt Susan, who lived in Smithtown in Long Island, just outside New York. You remember Smith? Yeah, Smithtown, the, the uh, Paris of Long Island. <laughs> But it, it was to me, man, this was this, this American dream. I came to visit and something very important happened. It was in the summertime and I went with my American cousins. We went to the beach in the summer. Now, I'd been to the beach in Scotland, but that's a different thing. You go to the beach in Scotland, you keep your coat on and you go, oh, this is fucking great, isn't it? <laughs> but I went with my American cousins in summertime to the beach and I got for the first time tan. I got a tan for the first time in my life. Well. Scottish people don't really get tan, just our freckles get bigger and closer together and you start looking like a giraffe. But I, during that vacation, puberty hit and I grew magnificent eyebrows. Well, one eyebrow, but a fucking beauty. It was like right across here like that. Gorgeous, thick, sexy, or big, black, hairy, sexy. It was lovely. It was like a 1970s porn vagina right across my head. So I was still a little tubby kid, but, but I looked like a giraffe and I had a vagina on my head. And then when I went back home, I was the kid that had been to America. So suddenly I was interesting to the rest of the kids at junior high school. And they would ask me about America, like, oh, what's America like? Do they really have potatoes made of gold? I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> and it made me so popular that I actually became confident. I started walking around talking in an American accent. I got so confident that I asked Daisy Henderson out on a date. I just walked right up to her and I said, say Toots, do you want to go to the movies this weekend? It'll be swell. Because <laughs> that's how Americans used to talk. I mean, nowadays, of course, if I was doing it, I'd say, hola, amiga. <laughs> Fucking Umi, fuck you. Greg, don't say things that we don't feel comfortable about. Then leave the front fucking room, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Greg, you're saying things that aren't necessarily true. Yeah, and that's called a joke, you fucking idiot. Like, oh, you're saying things which are inappropriate. It's very difficult to be appropriately in a fucking appropriate. <laughs>